So when it comes to making our papyrus sheets, we want to take the strips of uh, paper that's simulation papyrus, and what you will notice is that one side is smooth and one side is textured. So you want to lay four strips with the textured side down on this piece of blank paper. That way we don't get um, glue on the desk. So again, four strips, one, two, three, and four with the textured side down. So there we've got our four strips with the textured side down. And what we want to do then is simply take the glue stick and uh, we want to, to uh, rub glue on our strips there. Then we want to take four more strips, and this time we want to go the other direction and with the textured side facing up. So textured side up, and we simply want to take four strips uh, going across. One, two. Again, we want to make sure that textured side uh, is up. Two, three, and four. Now we have made our papyrus sheet. I'm sure the Romans wish they had something uh, that was that simple. So now we've got our papyrus sheet. Uh, you want to take your pencil and just very lightly uh, in one corner, uh, but nice and small, just put your name so that we can recognize yours uh, when we collect them and, and do things with them. Your next step is to make your reed pen. Notice we've got a dowel rod with a, a hole in the end there to simulate a reed. And the first thing you'll want to do is put your name at the end opposite the hole. So you'll put your name on there uh, in pencil or pen. And so that way we can recognize yours um, later. So got my name on there. Then you're going to take your X-Acto knife and you're going to carve this end, the end with the hole, into a tip. So the first thing you want to do is to start to slice thin little slices. And what you'll notice is that as I am doing this, I'm trying to keep all the shavings on the desk, and you'll notice that I am carving really this one side uh, of the reed flat. You'll notice that I'm making this, this side flat. I'm getting closer to the hole, and that's going to open up in just a moment. So as we keep taking thin little slices, and I will tell you that thin uh, is better than trying to slice off a whole lot of wood at once. And there we go. We're starting to open, open the hole uh, up. You see how that's opening up there? That's what we want to see. We want to see that open up like that. like that. Then we want to take uh, the sides and start to carve the sides again down toward that hole, or it was that hole, uh, and we're really sh shaving this into more of a point. So again, we're going to shave on both sides of the reed, and notice how we're getting that more into a point. We're going to want to flatten that out. As we get closer to the point there, we want that to be a nice, reasonably fine point. So notice I'm getting closer there, but I'm still, still not quite where I want to be. You want to make that a little narrower, get that more into a point. So I keep shaving on both sides until I get that into a point. And now we're looking pretty good. There we go. Now we're getting it into a point. And then what we want to do is we want to take the, the X-Acto knife. We're going to take the reed pen, lay it down on the desk. We're going to take the X-Acto knife and press against that tip and just kind of split that right down the middle there. So we're making a very small slit right through the tip. That way the ink uh, will be able to come out a little bit better. 
And now we're able to write. So now it's time to use your writing instruments. First thing I would do is you've got your, your cup of ink and you've got your columnus, your reed pen. And I would just dip that in the ink and just even on this blank paper, just get a little feel for how that makes a mark. It's going to be rather different from what you're used to with a, a ballpoint pen or a, a modern pencil or something like that. Just get a little, little feel for it. Then you've got your papyrus sheet that you have made and you've got your alphabet of the old Roman cursive. And so now you're going to copy either your verse or the quotation, uh, whichever one that you picked uh, was your favorite. And uh, we'll just do a little, little sample here. Uh, and so uh, I'm just gonna write uh, my name here. So I've got, and notice I'm having to dip a lot. Uh, so, um, It's one of the things you'll notice is that it, a little bit more effort, um, but, and sometimes the ink is a little bit thicker or thinner in terms of the lines and uh, so forth. Um, but uh, here we go. And using my alphabet there, uh, and um, sure enough, there's my name, Magister. And that's what we're doing.